Hey, it's Tara. Today I want to do a tour of the downstairs of our house, which includes our living room, our dining room, and our kitchen. It seems like a lot, but I'll try to keep it short. Now there's two other bedrooms downstairs, but they're completely closed off. That's because they have no air conditioning, they have no fan, and it's just way too hot to do anything. We've tried working out, we've tried studying, but it's too miserable. So we just keep those doors shut and we keep those rooms empty. Now the furniture that you will see downstairs, we did get to pick it out ourselves because we actually were at the furniture shop, the local furniture shop with our landlord. And we saw some of the things that he was picking out and we were like, no, no, no. And luckily we were able to compromise on some choices that we both liked. Now, a lot of people who move to Malaysia, they don't have that luxury. They end up with a place that's already furnished and they just have to live with a, whatever furnishings are already there. It was still, however, very funny when we went to Ikea a few months later and we were like, no, there's so many choices here, so many more affordable and nice choices. Um, but hey, they weren't available to us. So if you are moving to Malaysia, that's something to keep in mind. So. Let's go have a look. For the downstairs, we start over here on the left and you can see our shoe cabinet. Pretty much have my husband's at the top and my shoes at the bottom. Keeping our shoes in a cabinet versus wearing them in the house is something we learned in Korea and I think we will continue that practice wherever we live. We have a desk over here and in this cabinet is where we keep all of our books and papers. We have a little box there for our keys. That's the keys home. So I share this cabinet with my husband and you can see some of our work binders some of our laptop cases, some of our books, and down here we have all of our miscellaneous cords and some of our chargers up here. Now if you look in this orange container, folder really, this is where we keep all of our papers. So um, we divided them into two groups. This is things that are needed for a limited amount of time and they're kept in there. And on this side we have um, more important papers that we basically need to keep forever um, divided by different pieces of, of plastic. So that folds up and it's really easy for us to travel with that. Now if we come back in here, you can see our cat sweetie on the couch. Um, this blanket we got in Mexico and we were on our honeymoon and we love it because it's so colorful and it really brings some color to the room so we take that around with us no matter where we live. Um, down here you can see we've used uh, this coconut to kind of keep some of our empty coins rather than having them all over the house. It gives a home for them and it's kind of decorative. We have too many, we can just go to the bank. Here are coasters, which are made of recycled magazine. Um, they're from Cambodia and we take those around with us as well. And over here we have our time capsule, my husband's workout bench, and our dining room table. So we have uh, two more things from Mexico. They're a bit more decorative. Uh, we generally use this one for our salt and pepper because it's a grinder, so I can put uh, some any kind of pepper in there I want and also pink salt at the top. That is just my salad bowl, which is hanging out there with a bunch of tea bags and our teacups which we got as a present when we got married. And I always joke that these are our wedding china. We keep them out, because uh, when we keep them out, then we use them more. Now if you come into the kitchen, 
you can see starting at the left our sink then we have a cart that we got from Ikea we keep some appliances at the bottom we keep our glasses on the second shelf and on the top is really just a drying rack for any dishes that we've used recently and these two are also great for keeping some silverware that needs to dry different utensils in here we have a drawer full of some of my favorite things for the kitchen I do usually carry these around when we move to new places because um, they're a little bit better quality than the things I can find in a lot of a lot of Asia this is for squeezing lemon juice cutting garlic these are for loose leaf tea and there's just a couple other things that I love so they come with me now one thing you might notice is that there is no stove in this kitchen and that is because when we moved in here there was nothing except that kitchen sink so we had to furnish it ourselves and we decided hey you know what why don't we kind of give ourselves a creative challenge and see if we can live without one and force ourselves to learn how to cook with other means so it's been fun it's been challenging I am really looking forward to having a stove again though um, the slow cooker has been great for bone broth and soups also for making homemade yogurt and we've actually learned how to make a lot of things in the steamer um, although a steamer like this I am never going to buy again I don't like that it's plastic um, after just a year of use it's basically falling apart so in the future I will just get those stainless steel pots that you can stick on top of a stove and use that for my steaming needs and the blender as well is great for making smoothies to go but not very powerful for other purposes now in here you can see our drawer if you had looked in this a few months ago it would have been an absolute mess um, but since doing kind of a KonMari clean out um, it's been like this ever since so we just have some various spices here and in the jars I keep some of my recipes here um, for quick access it means I'm more likely to cook if I don't have to go reference to my computer uh, some more spices some seeds and nuts that we like to put on salads and this is just a to-go set of some uh, coconut oil some pink salt in case I want to travel and do a little cooking um, in any apartments that I rent here you can see inside the cabinet over here we have our oils I try to use only unrefined cold pressed um, stable oils so that's usually coconut oil if I'm frying and olive oil for my salads but I also have some organic sesame oil that I like to use for flavor and we just have some various muesli and oatmeal pasta and quinoa in there and on this side you can see my supplements on the top there's some diatomaceous earth, raw honey, magnesium, there's some gelatin uh, in the back and down here are our soups, and some alcohol uh, we're pretty much finished up our stock of them um, but it's some very yummy comfort food without much hassle on to the top of our fridge you can see the rest of our bowls we really just keep enough for the two of us, two or three of everything that way it keeps dishes down uh, you can see some magnets because Malaysians love to give magnets as gifts so we love to keep them on our fridge now the fridge is pretty empty uh, we just got back from four days on an island so we don't have any fresh food but you can see uh, just some cheese that we bring back from kale, some kimchi um, some bone broth in the back we have some kefir here milk kefir which I make and my supplements 
and some eggs. We get these eggs from Kuala Lumpur. These are DQ eggs made from free range, grass fed, organic chickens. And in the top, we also have um, some more of our organic meats and fish uh, that we, we have to get from kale and we bring them back in coolers. It's a bit messy right now. And if you come to the back of the house, you can see our last bathroom. Um, there is a shower, although we don't use it because it's not heated. And then a toilet and a little sink. So nice to have, um, not used very often. And that is our house.